Okay, welcome back to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Okay, we're moving on to another, um, this is no uh, comment day, calling all comments. This is our trip to San Carlos. And this one here is has six comments. Uh, this is part three. You can see it, I, I post a picture here. Uh, Sherry says, thank you for coming to see us. Okay, I uh, said that. Uh, hey, Gerard, I see, uh, this is from uh, Des... Uh, let me see it go this way. No, it's not going to work that way. Okay. This is from uh, Des G-I, G-O-I, and it stops right here five days ago. He says, hey, Gerard, I see you eating Filipino food. I remember you saying that you don't like Filipino food. Ha, um, ha, um, ha. <laughs> just give me a hard time, brother, but it does look good enough. Okay, uh, I guess he's talking about when I was uh, chowing down that chow. Okay, number one, it was a salad, okay? Um, and, and two, I, you know, I, I, I still stand by that, but I'm always going to be respectful when I go somewhere and, and, and they put out a spread. You know, I'm going to eat it. You know, I'm not going to say I don't want anything because I think that's very rude, you know, uh, when someone goes to the trouble to prepare a meal for you and you don't touch it. You know, so yeah, so I will eat it under those circumstances. But here, like me, yesterday, my dinner was just you know, the Filipino be uh, vegetables that they've grown and a piece of chicken. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> so uh, I, I stay away from grease, you know, all that stuff like that or whatever. But no, no, I, I, I'm not one. In fact, um, we went somewhere. <laughs> Where did we go? Uh, we were eating somewhere, me and I, and uh, she bought something and, you know, uh, she was eating it and she's, oh, this is so salty. And she, you want some? I said, no. Why do I want to eat? If it's too salty for you, it's going to be way too salty for me. So no, I don't want it. And, and that seems to be, you know, uh, they're very heavy handed on putting the salt on the food, which may contribute to the uh, high uh, blood pressure and, 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 and uh, heart attacks and diabetes and all that stuff here in the Philippines, because they do use a lot of salt, you know, on the food. So you know, so yeah, so I, I will eat it, and I will eat it out of respect, but if I have my choice, I, I won't, okay? So, um, uh, thank you, Des. Um, uh, 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 dry, D R E S G O L. Okay, that was the comment on that one. Okay, uh, still, we're here in San Carlos. This is another one here. How many? Okay, this one got um, four comments. This is. Uh, let me see which one this is. So that's a nice open oh. area. Okay, this is part four. I'm going to comment on. Oh, you'll see it right here. I don't need to keep doing this. Okay, this is from uh, the, the same. Um, watch it. Uh, the same cat. Uh, Draw die. Uh, D R E S G O L. I can't see the rest of his, his name to to spell it because I know I can't pronounce it. You know, but he says. Now, what's up, Gerard? Watching your video in uh, in a semi truck on a break from traveling here in Maza, oh Massachusetts. Ooh, <laughs> you know, enjoy your watching your videos. Keep them coming, our uh, keep them coming out, brother. Why? Thank you. I really appreciate that that you checking my videos out all the way in Massachusetts. Wow, <laughs> I there for you, really. They're all for you. So uh, I, I, I will keep it coming in a, in a semi truck. Wow, you're riding high, my brother. OK, so uh, I'm glad you enjoy them. Hopefully you'll get here to the Philippines and maybe we'll hang out and, you know, avoid eating <laughs> Filipino food. <laughs> OK, this next comment is from Mr. Billy Bathgate. Thank you. Thanks, man. OK, so it's my pleasure, my brother. Thank you for commenting. And hope to see more comments coming from you. Thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Okay, uh, this one is from Snoring019. I don't know what that is, but some handle. He says, Gerard, uh, you're going to move to San Carlos City now? Just asking. Hey! 
no, I don't want to move to San Carlos. You know, San Carlos is too big. It's, you know, too much traffic, too many people. You know, no, man, I'm just a simple country boy at heart. No, San Carlos is not for me, not at all. You know, it's a, it's a nice place to visit, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to live there. That's the cliche go. But, um, you know, but I have to be fair. I didn't get to see a lot of San Carlos. Just like I didn't get to see a lot of Bacolot. Just like I didn't get to see a lot of Ilo Ilo. You know, I'm sure I heard there was museums and all this stuff like this here. And those are the kind of things that I like to go to and watch and visit. But, you know, with not having the time, you know, to go explore those things. So, I, you know, my saying, um, making, um, you got to remember, I, I was planning on moving and living in Bacolot once upon a time. But um, no, uh, I, I have no inkling in moving to San Carlos. I like it right here in Dumaguete. This place is just ideal for this here city country boy. Okay, uh, who else? Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna keep it moving here real quick. Uh, okay, this is from, let me see. This is from, here we go again. This is when we came back and we ended up going on to, to Bacolot the, the, within a day. It said, this is from Rag Jam, Rag Rock, Rag, Rag Jam Rock. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. I see a, a G and a J. My eyes, are, see, that's why it was throwing me off. Rag Jam Rock, what's up? I knew it was you, brother. He says, hello, and welcome to a new episode of Dark Shadows. <laughs> Starting Gerard Black. <laughs> Watching your uh, neck, Mia. <laughs> Watching your neck, Mia. Uh, <laughs> excellent, excellent reference, Rag Jam Rock. Excellent reference. If you don't know what Dark Shadows was, Dark Shadows was a soap opera that used to come on and uh it had a lot to do with vampires angelina angelina was a fox she was a blonde and her, her fangs uh and what have you but here's something that you don't know uh i used to live on 75th street between Amsterdam and columbus which was not too far from the studios you know where they were filming it and there's a character on dark shadows named quentin rag jamrod know who he is the thick cyberns and whatever, you can Google him. Quentin, who was a, a, a ghost, I think, uh, and he was a main fixture up, up there. Well, what he used to do about every three or four days, he used to come over our house and eat my mother's leftovers, <laughs> you know, because he loved my mother's cooking. So every, every few days we would have Quentin coming over our house eating and you can literally see him <laughs> blow up on the air from my mother's food. So that's something you may not know, but Dark Shadows it, it was one of those soap operas that, you know, you know, I, you know, I did watch because, you know, it, 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 it was nice. But thank you for that reference. And yeah, welcome to Dark Shadows. What can I do? All right. Thanks, Rag Jamrock. <laughs> I like that. That was cool. Okay. Um, let's see if we get out of San Carlos and then I'll stop. This is um, another one. Um, this is once we got to San Carlos. Uh, this is San Carlos. Uh, I, I don't know what number it is, but you'll see it right here. And this one is from Sherry. Thank you for this opportunity to blog with you. Uh, about our resort. Sherry, it was my pleasure. It was my pleasure, you know, to be able to, you know, try to show my appreciation in the only way I know how, which is trying to give you some exposure for your resort. And, you know, you know, no, uh, no, no matter how far or, or how short the reach is watching the video of your resort, it was all I have to give. And I was happy to put my all into it to give you an opportunity to promote your resort. And I hope it does have some residuals with it. Again, Sherry, thank you for, for hosting me, us, and, and your family is absolutely terrific. So again, I recommend going to that resort. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I'll put it right here so you'll see the name of the resort in San Carlos, okay? So thank you, Sherry, for that. Okay, the next comment is from um, Gina's World. Gina's World. Gina's World. Oh, okay. I comment her online, so I think I'm catching up. But just to show you how uh, how posting the resort has has um, 
has reached others. She says, Sherry is my classmate and my friend in college. Wow. Lovely resort, Sherry. Um, uh, so I, uh, I, I'm happy that my blogging and them seeing a resort uh, was able to connect Sherry. And I even uh, made a suggestion that she have a class reunion there one day with Sherry and all her friends from school. It's, it's a beautiful place and hopefully they'll pick me up on that. But, you know, so my promoting her at least paid off in this uh, incident, incident, in this incident instant so so anyway sherry again thank you okay the next one is from bob willow good load good load of videos thank you okay uh bob willow you there for you you know that oh for you you know he's watching i guess all the san carlos videos you know i tried to not load it down too much and i was trying to blog like every hour to kind of give you an idea where we were and what have you it worked out a little bit but anyway I'm glad you enjoyed them, Bob. Okay, this next one is from um, um, B. Hadiday. B. Hadiday. Mm, B. H. A. D. I. D. A. Y. Five one two four. Congratulations, Di. And mm, oh, let me translate to English. Okay, congratulations. Okay. Mm, it says translation. Okay, I don't, I don't know what it is. But anyway, it says congratulations. You know, so uh, thank you um, for your congrat congratulatory comment. I appreciate that and appreciate you. You look like a new subscriber because it's the first time I recognized your, uh, your, your name. So welcome aboard, and I hope you enjoy the ride. Again, that's B, uh, B, had, B had a date. Uh, B had H A D I D A Y B had a day. I hope that's how I pronounce it. If not, I apologize. Welcome aboard. Okay, and let me see. We're gonna go to another one. Um, this one is uh, you'll see it here. How many comments this has? This has 16 comments. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go through this one and then we're gonna, we're gonna stop because I, I think I've done enough for you and you've had enough. Okay. Uh, this one is the first one is from Rag Jamrock. Why? Why? I didn't. Why? I, I could have guessed that he would be the first one. It says it's a shame that Gail found the father and he wants nothing to do with her. Uh, I hope he's watching because that's one beautiful and smart granddaughter he has missing out on. Rag Jamrock, you're absolutely right. You know, and and I can I can. Uh, <clears throat> sympathize with Sherry because I'm going through the same thing with my daughter not having to speak with her for over 20 years you know and mostly because it's her choice you know and it's very hard I think for someone who wants to know their parent and their parent doesn't want uh, to know them and vice versa as it is in my case you know yes the, the, the granddaughter she is uh, you know she is an absolute doll and um, yeah, uh, he's missing out on a lot, you know. There are a lot of children here in the Philippines who were fathered by foreigners and who left and went back, you know, to their native country and what have you. Same thing like during the Vietnam War. I'm sure the same thing happened, you know, you know, uh, in all wars that the, the, the soldiers and, and you know, uh, uh, you know, mix with the locals and get them pregnant and just go and leave. You know, I, I've known a couple of girls who got pregnant by by foreigners, you know, and and, um, you know, uh, the, the, they would never see their child, except probably on Facebook, but they want nothing to do with them because it was just a, you know, a slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. So it happens a lot. But when when they grow to be as 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 as, as smart as Gail is, and raising a, a granddaughter like her, uh, the grandfather or her father is really missing a lot. Thanks for pointing that out, Ray Jamrock. This next common one is from Willie D. What's up, Willie D? <laughs> Willie D says, hey, Gail, good to see you again. Uh, God bless you and your family. Well, <laughs> Gail, it seems like somebody know you. <laughs> so, Willie D, I'm glad I'm able to put you two together, or at least you being able to say hello to her. Uh, I guess saying that uh, it's good to see her again, you know, might mean that uh, uh, maybe he saw her in the Calvin Sunshine shoulders uh, channel because she pointed out that she was on there. 
Okay, uh, this next one is from uh, Sherry. This is from Sherry herself, the owner of resort. Uh, she says, stay, um, says, stay strong, Gail. I know you have so many struggles this year, but always pray in everything you do. Good or bad, God always listens to you. This is just part of of the trials up on your life. I know you can overcome it someday. Stay positive and don't um, uh, and don't um, de uh, depress and stress because your children need you. And I comment on this one that saying, uh, amen, that I could not say it better. Yeah, Gail, you know, she has a plan. She's waiting on the scores to come back for her to become a teacher. You know, I, I always speak on the Philippines, Filipinos and say there is a lack of ambition. And, you know, and um, uh, Gail has proved has, is one of those who proved me wrong. Uh, just like Sarah, if you saw Sarah or yes, uh, yesterday in the last video, you know, uh, um, uh, there are some who 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 have ambition to want to change the conditions of their life. And when you do see someone like that, you know, you want to do what you can to help them. You know, you know and I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about just support. Sometimes people just need a support. You know, I need a hug. I need a kiss. And just, and just need to just say that, you know, everything's going to be all right. You're doing the right thing. Stay on track. You know, uh, uh, follow your dream, you know, and don't let. And sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. But make it happen for you. And a Gail seems to be doing that for herself. You know, she's not sitting down, you know, trying to wait on, on somebody to, you know, come give her money. You know, she's out. She's a go getter. You know, she has her own business. And, and, and like she says, she seems she's making enough to take care of her and her family, so which is good. OK. <clears throat> um, thank you for that. Uh, uh, Sherry, on talking about that. Uh, Willie D also said, good interview, OG. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, talking about Sherry, you know, I try to do the best I can uh, spot on the moment without reading, you know, or knowing much of the background. I use, before I interview somebody, I usually sit down and have a conversation with them. They don't know I'm filing information in my head of things that they said that I know I'm going to speak on when I do the interview. So this is one of those situations. But yeah, I, I think it was a good interview for her, you know, and um, you know, and uh, I, I question about putting her daughter in that when she talked about Vince. But, you know, you know, I was saying, should I put her in? Should I not put her in? Should I put her in? Should I not put her in? But then, you know, you know, my vanity, I guess, got the best of me. I said, I'm putting it in, you know, and I did. But as it turned out, some people enjoyed that her just as much as, you know, I enjoy putting her in there. OK, so thank you, uh, Willie D. Uh, this next comment is Sir Sonic. <laughs> Sir Sonic. Uh, she is the type of person that I want to get into business with whenever, um, whenever Philippines, my permanent, permanent home. Um, well, you know, Sir Sonic, you know, um, I, I think Gail has, does have a lot to offer. You know, I think she is a go-getter. And uh, yeah, and, and, and I think she would make any man proud or, or, or stronger or she would prop prop them up as well as doing for herself. So yeah, so I think Gail, you know, wouldn't make um, a good partner for the right man, you know, so um, uh, don't lose this video. <laughs> and hopefully when you get here, um, you'll meet her and then see where it goes from there. Okay, cool. Thanks for your comment. Uh, this next one is from Bob Willow. Great video. Enjoy. <laughs> Bob, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And like, like I said, it's for you. It's all for you. Okay, uh, this next one is from um, Oh, oh Baddy, uh, oh, oh Baghdad Phoenix. Mm, uh, um, O-B-A-D-I-A-H Phoenix. I know Phoenix. I, I recognize the word Phoenix. Phoenix. This is three days ago. He said, ha, ha, ha. He started off laughing. He said, she's not a mulatto, uh, African and European. Uh, she would be considered a, uh, a Bayesian, black and Filipino. I mean, black and Asian. Now, you see, when I was talking about uh, uh, Gail's child, uh, or talking about Gail, I said she was a mulatto. And he corrected me and said, no, mulatto is from white and black, which I knew, but I was trying to, I don't know the word for, you know, 
or the mixture of black and Asian, which he uh, he corrected me. It's it's uh, um, by Asian. So um, uh, I, I texted him back and said, "What about a quadroon?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, you don't know what a quadroon is? Look it up. You know, I couldn't find the spelling of that word for nothing. But it's when a, a, a mulatto has a child, and the child is known as a quadroon. Okay, so um, thank you for correcting me, my brother. You know, I knew I was using the wrong word when I said it, <clears throat> but, you know, I'm, I'm glad you caught me at it because sometimes, you know, I do tend to uh, uh, overreach myself. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you. This next one is from uh, Gay, um, Gay, Gay Dose, uh, Gay, Gay, Gay Do, D O S D O S. 2628. It says, um, Get well soon, Joanne. Joanne. Oh, get well soon, Joanne. Okay, so uh, I guess he's uh, wishing well wishes to Joanna, you know, to get well soon. Um, well, uh, I'm sure she appreciates it. I hope she sees this and know that you wish to well and uh, getting well. Okay, thank you. Okay, and that's it. We're going to stop right there. Uh, we'll get back to some of the other videos, uh, some of the comments a little later. But now I kind of caught up a little bit and uh, I feel okay to try to uh, bring some of them down on, on the computer. Okay, so you're watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Don't forget to, to uh, subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. And remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elder always pulls someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. I'm living good today. I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a good woman like Ollie Woodson, formerly singer The Temptation, once sung, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king and never say no. Okay? <laughs> I'll always love you more. If you want to know what this is about, <laughs> these are... Uh, poses that I'm doing to maybe find a snapshot to put at the beginning of the video. <laughs> okay? May you live to be 100 and be 100 a day so I'll never know that nice people like you have gone away. That's from Frankie Crocker, WBLS FM uh, Radio in New York. And I always love you more. Love you like a love song, baby. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Thank you for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. My name is Cheryl. I am the manager of the resort. Saja, uh, come and visit us in Saja Sabukid Resort located in San Carlos City, Negros Occidental. Thank you and goodbye.